Welcome boys and girls to another episode of Clash of Clans Play Bar Play, huh? Yo, boys and girls, this was one heck of a close war, uh, Flip, man. We just, just finished now the war. And boys and girls, this was a stuck and hectic one. Uh, I was like botting my nails. Six love. Look at this score. Look at this score. We got 89 and Tesla Nuclear got 88. Boys, they had, we had two last minute attacks that could have gone very, very badly for us, bro. So what I want to show you now, this is a very short one. I just want to show you a replay of, of just two, the two attacks. Eh? Because we had two real bright sparks in our clan. Vimskum, where is this bro? Vimskum number 10. Eh? Yo, this guy, his base defended. The very last attack started 23 seconds before the end of the war. And of course, when attack starts before the war ends, even if it's just a few seconds, it will go on. They'll finish it and then they'll take that score. Bruce and Brudettes. Now they attacked Vimskum. I want to show you this. If you look at the most heroic attack and the most heroic defense, we have none. Because these guys clapped us six love from the beginning. Uh, these guys were really strong. But you know what? This was, in my opinion, the most heroic defense. Just check this last defense out on Vimskum. Uh. Bruce and Dudettes. Uh, yo. So we started with classic lightning spell. So you know there's a few lizards going to come and visit your base. Huh? The moment you see those lightning spells, you're going to... Uh, it bodes not, doesn't bode well for you, bro. So basically, he, he popped his draggies. Uh, so like, his dragons are going to town on this town. <laughs> Literally. So there comes the town... Oh, the clan, clan castle troops trying to take out these lizzies. And look at that well-placed air defense in the middle those those lizards needs to get to the middle to get to that air defense not happening at all so his lizard split up into the sides not lacquer you don't like i don't like dragons anymore because they do this kind of stuff they go and split up and don't go into the middle as you want them because you want to clap that down all Brood lizards sometimes can be stupid, but they can be flipping deadly if they really think a bit too much. So basically, there's the last dragon out. There's his king. Huh? King trying to work, going to town, going to work on that one little bit of purple wall. King is not having a lot of fun. Eh? Yes, so, but he breaks through and there he goes to town hall. We only have the mortar to defend the town hall. And you know what? Let's speed it up and you check there. That king is clapping that town hall, and there you go. Town hall down. Now he's in range, and the flipping will run out of time. Two stars. Now, this was the very last attack, pushing their score up from 87 to 88. Now, we were like really stressing, like stuck, and uh, because basically, if, the, if he got like two stars, we would have flipping well drawn this match. We fought hard, eh? Now I want to show Grimm's attack. Now I know this Grimm was attacking on a very low base. But this base, man, he only had a few stars. Uh, he only had one star to give us. The second attack. He only had one star. And you know what? Let me show you the replay. Grimm three starred it. He was such a trooper, man. Such a trooper to get us this low level base. But hey, bro, at the end of the day, Darren, it's only the stars that count. Yeah, not about just how you attack, but bro, if you have a strong army against you, you got to be like a slim, eh? You got to be clever when you attack these bras. So there, there, Grim deploys some archers, bobs, and then there he goes with his lizzies. He took out that one air defense with his one, um, with his three uh, three lightning spells, dropped his king there so that he can play a bit in the playground. But the king went a bit too far. Eh? The sand trap got him. And now I'm going to speed it up. Classic, classic textbook freaking dragon attack using his little 
archers and barbs to come and help them. And there also, last second, last second, he flipping off to cut the last two buildings. Grim, you flipping spanner. What a beaut, man. What a beaut. But if you look at this freaking plan, eh? One, two, three, four, five, six, six freaking the top six with town hall nine. Eh? Then the seventh was was a premature town hall ten. Now boys and girls, just a quick tip. Don't do this, huh? Don't 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 do this. No, please, man. Clapping a town hall ten prematurely, bro, you're going to get clapped hard. Because now what did, what did, what did Uncle Fricky tell you? Fricky told you that when you go from one tunnel to the next, you freaking will upgrade all your stuff. These flippin' mortars should have been level 7 already. Big time. These flippin' air defenses, level 8, man. This freaking cannon, level 11 at least. At least. These wizards. Look at these wizards, man. They're morphies on their little towers. But look at this. Uh, he's got boss level 12 gold mines, eh? Man, this guy is flying. So please don't be like this dude. And flipping will be a premature town hall upgrader. Don't do that. You're going to pick up some issues. Eh? Don't do that. So, boys and girls. Thank you very much for joining us in this, 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 this war. Play by play. But I'm going to leave you with Kuni's heroic attack. This one was also nail biting. Kuni goes for a classic go wipe. Drops a giant right there. Pulling out the clan castle troops. Dropping three wizzies. Three wizzies. Puts the healing there. Puts the rage there. So he can push in. Push into the middle. That's what you want with your go wipe. Huh? Push in with your golem first. Golem takes most of the hits. Why? Because the golem's a meat shield. Then you throw your skeletons out. Skeletons opens up the wall. But look at that flipping Pekka man. Every blooming time Pekka goes left of the flipping thing. Always goes where you don't want them to go. But let's speed this puppy up. Huh? He dropped his two Pekkas. Pekka 1 up on the top. Pekka 2 followed the group nicely. Perfectly entered the nucleus of this base, taking out the town hall with his level 10 king. Well done, Kunar. Took out there that gold storage with his Pekka. Pekka took one for the team. And my boys and girls, two stars on a really tough base. Uh, town hall 9 base, okay, granted it's not like a super upgraded one, but it was still town hall 9. This fight was tight like a tiger bro tight like a tiger so thank you very much for joining and as always now you go to your clan castle information you check there the lack of loot that you have accumulated collect that loot you want to use it upgrade 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 my town old nine is almost on its way now almost upgraded completely so boys and girls thanks for watching and stay tuned for more play by play episodes by Fricky. Love you, stick and like and subscribe both of them because we all know if you don't like and subscribe, a baby fly dies. I'll explain that one also soon. Uh, cheers!